Hello, this video demonstrates the importance of understanding the vein of Marshall and Vuson's valve. When you see this, you wonder how did this occur and what can uh, be done to prevent it from happening to another patient, an obvious CS dissection on venogram. To prevent complications like this, it is important for the implanting physician to understand the, uh, the anatomy of Vuson's valve uh, in the vein of Marshall. So here you have Vuson's valve and the vein of Marshall. And the vein of Marshall uh, is illustrated just coming off just below uh, Vuson's valve, and Vuson's valve is preventing contrast from uh, being injected into the great cardiac vein, or what I always think of as the, uh, the extension of the coronary sinus or the main body of the CS. In any event, uh, when a wire or catheter is advanced into the CS, Vuson's valve tends to direct that wire or EP catheter into the vein of Marshall. So here you see we're advancing a wire during CS cannulation and watch the way the wire advances and stops and uh, it sort of buckles up. Um, which is a, is a clue that it's not quite where you thought it was, which is in the vein of, which is in the vein of Marshall, not in the body of the CS. So that when the wire is withdrawn below Vuson's valve and then readvanced, you can see that it has gone into the great cardiac vein uh, above Vuson's valve. Now I frequently hear from EP physicians that they are taught that it is uh, that advancing a catheter over the wire is safe. As you can see from this example, nothing is further from the truth. Here, during CS uh, cannulation, the wire was inadvertently advanced into the vein of Marshall. A sheath advanced over the wire would dissect the vein of Marshall. Similarly, a venogram balloon over, advanced over the wire inflated would rupture the vein of Marshall, resulting in contrast extravasation into the pericardial space and tamponade. It can be more difficult to determine if an EP catheter is in the vein of Marshall than a wire because it's stiff. When an EP catheter is used for CS cannulation and ends up in the vein of Marshall by mistake, advancing the sheath over the EP catheter will dissect the vein of Marshall. This dissection probably won't become apparent until you do a venogram. So this is just another example of where a catheter is advanced over a wire thought to be in the CS. Gentle contrast injection confirms that it is in the vein of Marshall, producing a minor stain without causing a dissection. Just imagine what would happen if a balloon were advanced, inflated, and contrast were vigorously injected. This is what a venogram looks like if a sheath is advanced over a wire or an EP catheter into the vein of Marshall, again thinking that it's safe. Remember, there is a tendency for Vuson's valve to direct catheters and wires into the vein of Marshall. So watch again as the wire is advanced and initially enters the vein of Marshall. And for all the world, it looks as if it's in the true CS. But when it's withdrawn and readvanced, you can see that it actually uh, enters the great cardiac vein above Marshall, vein the Marshall. Contrast extravasation can also occur if an occlusive venogram is performed proximal to Vuson's valve. In this case, it was recognized uh, that we were below Vuson's valve and the balloon wasn't fully inflated, which allowed reflux um, and contrast injection was done very carefully. So this is how it works. If you inflate the balloon uh, below Vuson's valve and Vuson's valve is patent, then all the contrast uh, that is injected has really sort of only one place to go, and that's into the vein of Marshall. So all the contrast is forced into the vein of Marshall, which can result in a rupture and, and contrast extravasation, which looks like this. Pretty scary. Turns out to not be too, too dangerous, not as bad as if you put the balloon into, into the vein of Marshall. In any event, I think you'll find it useful to understand the relationship between Vuson's valve, vein of Marshall, uh, and the importance of not accepting the dictum that advancing 
a catheter over a wire or an EP catheter is safe because you just don't know where that wire or EP catheter has 